For 70 years, La Rosa's Pizza has been an institution in the Queen City. In 1954, founder Buddy LaRosa opened his first restaurant on the west side. This week, the city has come together to recognize and thank the local legend for his years of hard work. The man himself, local legend Buddy LaRosa, joining us live in studio, along with his son, company CEO, Mike LaRosa. Thanks so much for joining us. It's our pleasure. Thanks, thank yeah. you. When yeah. I heard seven decades of success at how old? Uh, well, I'm in my late, no, early 90s. Early, yeah. 93, actually. Yeah, 70 years. When you look back on that time, what do you remember most about starting the first La Rosa's there on Boudinot? Well, I always wanted to be uh, in business, uh, yeah, be an entrepreneur. Uh -huh. I worked for enough of them, started at an early age in Finley Market. But uh, I knew I would be in business, but I never thought it would be the pizza business. And I heard you had a, just kind of stood outside the store, that first store when it opened. And Waited it for customers. <laughs> that is crazy. $400 to open that. And now the business worth $200 million. 64 but that's locations. that's gross now. That's gross, you know, by <laughs> 64 stores. Yes, yeah, 64 across yeah. Ohio, Indiana, Indiana, Kentucky. And Kentucky, yeah. That is amazing. That's as far as we're going. What do you think of the big party they held for you? They had, they had it all week. This is the last event right here today. <laughs> well, I'm good. I'm glad we could, you know, end things for you with your celebrations. And Mike, when you look back at your family's success, what can you say about how instrumental your dad has been? Well, my father has been uh, an inspiration to thousands of people. He's always been a great judge of talent and a great head coach. And the qualities and characteristics that he brought to our family business he made sure that everybody on the team exhibited you know, those same traits. So we care deeply about the communities we serve. We love to give back to our local schools and organizations. And anybody that's ever worked at La Rosa's, they generally come to me at some point in their life and they say, that's the best job I ever had. I made friends there. We became friends for life. We worked hard together and we served the public in a positive way. And face it, everybody loves pizza. I mean. You know, you can get a pizza out of a vending machine <laughs> today if you want to, but everybody loves pizza, and uh, we've been blessed to have 70 years to develop relationships in the community. What was it about that first menu, or the first pizza? Well, special ingredients, what did you do to make it so good? Well, number one, <clears throat> what I had going for me, uh, my aunt uh, Dina, Bernadette Manella was her maiden name. Uh, no, Panaro, she married to Manella got to be careful with the names. <laughs> and she was the best cook in the neighborhood. And uh, she was going to be in charge of a, a pizza booth at our little Italian church in South Fairmont, San Antonio. And my mother and my grandmother were going to help her. Well, when I heard that, I'm going to go down and help them too. So when I was down in the kitchen watching her make the pizza sauce and everything, she would never let anybody see the cans of tomatoes she used. Oh. It's all in the, in the tomato. She used San Marzano tomatoes, you know, for your uh, viewers. They have the best tomato. It's a natural amount of sun and water, rain rather, to develop a natural sweetness in the tomato. No sugar. And you so, can still get those on shelves. I know that they, they sell them at grocery San Marzano, stores. They're, in, they're expensive, but, but you pay, you get quality. They're worth it. What's your favorite thing to eat at La Rosa's? Uh, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Lasagna. <laughs> Please? I like the lasagna. Well, it's all good, but I just like the pizza myself. And these days, what do you spend your days doing? Do you visit the stores? Well, look at 93. I know. I'm lucky, you know, I'm here today. Not really. <laughs> um, I like to go in at, at lunch and pop in at dinner once in a while and just walk around. And I'm seeing grandchildren of my original customers. That is Third amazing. Our generation, sometimes, you know. It's, and they come in as a family gathering, and we kind of make it a special event. Uh, and I take my picture all the time, but I can't be in 64 locations. So they made some big, giant cutouts of me. So you can go get a picture taken with Buddy <laughs> in all 64 places. Well, big, that is amazing. Deal. It is a family institution at my house. It's Pizza La Rosa well, Fridays. Well, that's a compliment Friday. coming from an Italian. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thanks so much, Mike, for coming on the show. We really enjoyed having you, and cheers to, to more success, of course. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Megan. John Gum, we'll sw swing it over to you. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.